Hello guys, once again welcome to all of you. Today we will cover up the topic uh, related to immersion suit pressure testing by air. That is usually for uh, less than 10 years old immersion suit we are doing uh, uh, three yearly and uh, for more than 10 years immersion suit we are doing every year as per the SOLAS requirement this circular MSC uh, you can check on it is available and uh, as you can see I have here Viking Viking made uh, immersion suit on board and the, our immersion suit are already now 10 years old and that's why we are conducting uh, uh, annual air hose uh, I mean sorry air pressure test so for that we have already on board one kit provided uh, this for checking as you can see the kit has this following equipment inside there is a manual pump given but usually this pump is very slow so we will use the ships here to fill uh, this uh, our immersion suit because you, with this you cannot uh, really cope up here you can see the instrument is provided so this is like uh, you can see here is uh, I will show you how to put it inside the immersion suit and here is the gauge provided and this is made by us I uh, we made it so that we can connect our air hose you can see here air hose and fill the pressure it is the pressure is to be filled inside is in kilopascal 0.7 to 1.4 as you can see that is the limit so just take care in mind that when you are connecting the ship's air pressure it should be open crack open only yes otherwise it can damage your uh, this uh, gauge so because it is in bars and this is in kilopascal and there is a huge difference so we will cut open only and fill small and we will hold on the maximum pressure of 1.4 kilopascal now I will show you how to connect this uh, this kit on our immersion suit and later we will do the pressure test okay guys now you can see my fellow friend he is now connecting this uh, kit you have to open this kit and then try to seal it your face um, this face uh, covering inside in this layer as you can see here closely from around you can see how he is doing and here and then take the zip close the zip fully up till uh, up till corner top corner but usually it is you know leaking sometime from here in the top so you need to hold it by your hand and here is uh, you you see the, the, the this is covered by fa full face now and here we are provided with four nuts and washers so we will connect so that it will make it airtight so we will connect all the four nuts again you can see how we have connected all the four nuts and he is uh, now tightening with this spanner and uh, you need remember to put the washers here you can see the washers otherwise it the air will leak from here so to make it uh, airtight we put washer and you can see here how precisely we have locked this one and around also sealed uh, this gauge glass was out actually oh it's okay and now we will connect our air hose this our air hose here and we will fill it with the air now you will see so you can see here he is connecting the air hose and we will fill this now with the air ready? yeah ready fill. so he is putting air inside the immersion suit guys you can see now he has filled the immersion suit fully here it's pressure you can also see 1.4 yes and here we have filled now you have to hold the nozzle there so that air will not leak and you take the soap water in the bucket uh, here you can stick the soap water and put this foam on the top of this zip you can see here I am putting just to check on where are the leaks here on the threads On here you can see no air is leaking here. keep the pressure maintained here so no air is leaking press it press it 
press can you hear anything no no leak yes we are not observing any leak and here you can see all is good so like this we can turn it from behind also like you can see so it's good so but like this you can test your immersion suit guys i hope this video will be useful for you thank you